talking to them right now, and they ignore them. So when your time comes, when your judgment comes, don't look to find us because we're not going to be able to be found. I mean, they got better, I mean, it's better shit to do, though, than the work of the Lord, though, you know? Hell oh, yeah. It's, they got to they gotta go watch the game, these shows coming on. Yeah. Like, I got to see they shows. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, let me get this scripture. You, you, let me get this scripture real quick. I just, uh, I'll wait till this bus go back. Yeah, I'll get that camera for you for a second. Take the care of fucking bus, man. This is uh, Isaiah 47 and 8. <laughs> Isaiah 47 and 8. Therefore, hear now this, thou that art given to pleasures, that dwellest carelessly, that sayest That's what in thy just... heart, I am and none else beside me. Whew. I shall not sit as a widow, neither Shall I know the loss of children? Don't that sound like a miracle that's, right that's now? That sound like all these bitches, though, yeah, too. Yeah, 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 but yeah. these two things shall come to thee in a moment. That's beautiful right here. It in is. In one day, in the one loss day. of children and yeah. widowhood. In one day. And widowhood. They yeah. shall come upon thee in their perfection. <laughs> Bitch's husband gonna get right. killed. You're gonna be all by yourself. For the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thy, of thy en enchantments. <laughs> For thou has trust, so witches trusted around, witches and warlocks. Hey, America, America was founded by Freemasons. That's right. Everybody knows that about the Illuminati now. Yep, yep. So I ain't gotta explain that shit. Yep. Bunch of witches and warlocks. For thou had, for thou has trusted in thy wickedness. Thou has said, none seeth me. They trusted in their wickedness. That's the key right there. They trusted and, and they they grasped and they and they yeah they they call on. When they pray, they call on the devil, man. Yeah, pretty and, much. And it, and it says, "No one see me in their um in their temples when they sacrifice the little children." Yeah, yeah, nobody, right. they, These buildings, some temples don't have windows and shit, nope. man. They yeah. saying nobody see us in here, man. Yep. You know, I mean, your eyes belong to the Most High. Your eyes, the one right, that's yeah. actually doing the shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah, yeah, thinking some shit where the white man can tap into your phone <laughs> right, and, and listen right. to you with the phone? Right, right. The Most High is inside of you. <laughs> Looking through your eyes. Looking through your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Looking directly through your eyes. That's some shit. Yeah. Man. So uh, let, let, let's see. That's that's probably why Esau wants to put a microchip in everybody's brain because he just thinks he you can't be God, man. Yeah. Okay, it's not gonna happen. That ain't that right. That's right. Like, that's a, that's a, talking, that talking about a great delusion. That's a great delusion right there, man. For, for thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. Thou hast seen. Oh, my bad. Thou hast said, none sees me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge it hath perverted thee. Yeah, perverted. You know, I bet the Lord He can play the shit you did back to your ass too. <laughs> right, right. right. He'll play it back to you. Right, right. And he don't need no camera either. That's right. You just pull up the hologram. Yeah. Yep. I don't know how to. Yeah, you do whatever the fuck you want to do. And we can't. I don't. He's just, I ain't some, trying to boggle my so mind to figure out how he true and how he, he does it. And he tell you that in Revelation too. Right. I just know he can do it. Yep. And, and yep. thou hast get, said in thy heart, I am, and none else beside me. <laughs> Therefore shall evil come upon thee, thou shalt not know from whence it rises. Ain't gonna know, they ain't gonna be ready for that shit. Like the scripture say, the Lord come like a thief in the night. There you go. Okay, like when you least suspect it. Because a thief won't break into your house when you least suspect it. He ain't gonna come up, knock on the door, like, how you guys doing? I'm about to rob you now. <laughs> right. Right. He gonna, he gonna sneak it up in there. You ain't ready for that shit. You gonna, yeah, you know, you wake up, everything gone, like, God damn, what happened? <laughs> That's when we're gonna wake up and America's gonna be gone. <laughs> it, it's just like that white that that flat that flat screen that you woke up it was gone. Right. You know what I'm saying? And mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able to put it off. And desolation shall come upon thee suddenly. Suddenly. Which thou shall not know. Like you just read earlier, it said within a day he gonna destroy. You know, one day your ass gonna get destroyed. You going? Stand now with that enchantments and with the multitude of that sorceries. The sorcery, like we said, I, he, not not only is like the elite out here. Everybody know like the the government. To be part of the government, be a senator, you gotta be a Freemason. Like uh, or like Hillary Clinton. She was holding a seance at the White House. I mean, this is this is on fact. This is on record. I, I can prove this. You know what I'm saying? We have actual proof. She confessed to it. Other people witnessed it, and they joke about it all the time. So it's a fact. 
We know Hillary Clinton was doing seances with her husband and everybody else up in there. So they so said some sorcerers. But not only that, but the average person being a sorcery. Like my next door neighbor, he's a goddamn Odin worshiper. You know what I'm saying? You see that faggot? He's an Odin worshiper. Yeah, that's all the facts I know all kind of people worship Odin. I know people who are uh, talking about they believe in Zeus. You got uh, people, uh, crazy, a lot man. of black people who are into uh, Osiris worship because they think they Egyptian. You know what I'm saying? You got you got people who believe in all manner of wickedness, man. You know, all kind of, all, all these bitches, they into astrology, checking the astrological charts. I was hoping he hit somebody. I gotta use my phone now. Oh, that's all, that's good. That's it on that. On that oh, yeah, that's the point, though. There you go. Uh, Revelation 16 and 15. Behold, I come as a thief. Whew. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments. Keep your garments. That means the, the truth. The garment, yeah, the garment is the truth. That's the, the Bible. That's the truth. You know? Lest he walk naked and they see his shame. Yeah, and, the, and that real garment is the, yes, yeah, the most high. It's the Lord and his son. Yep. Let me read a little bit more. It's a, to, if, yeah, if you don't know the name of the Lord and his son, you ain't wearing a garment. You know what I'm saying? You naked. That's right. And he gathered them together in a place called, in the Hebrew tongue, Armageddon. Yep. That's what's coming. Everybody knows about Armageddon. That's that's one thing that the Lord put that spirit out there. Yeah, everybody knows. So everybody everybody knows about that Armageddon's coming sooner or later, and they all know where it's going down too. In the Middle East. Okay. Everybody knows that. How come how come everybody knows that? Because it was written down in the Bible. Everybody should know America's not going to escape this one. You know, just like he's reading. That's America. Yep. You know, this place ain't never touched no wars, man. Hell no. Nobody ever came here and invaded yeah, took, and took over uh, uh, Ohio. Took over Ohio. Like in Syria, you know, like the insurgents take over one city and, you know, got control of one city. This ain't and never you, happened here. Right, right. Never got his cherry pops. Yeah, wait till they get them uh, UN troops over here. Right, right. Or them Russian Spetsnats. Chinese oh, yeah. motherfuckers. Yeah, Chinese troops. Yeah. Oh, they, them Chinese motherfuckers are everywhere. <laughs> they they hidden like roaches. They're everywhere. Trust me. They come out. You got them Chinese motherfuckers. They quiet. You got to watch a quiet motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, bro. Uh, well, yeah, I'm gonna get this one for what you got? Uh, John, John six and uh, sixty three. It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. Yeah, the spirit of quickeneth. That's just, That's because when you first learn this truth, of the Lord is dealing with you, man. He'll give you all kind of knowledge in a real short period of time. He'll raise you up in the truth real fast. Yeah, yeah. You know? Sure it, will. We're examples of that. I mean, I'll, almost everybody in the truth should be learning right now, especially at an accelerated pace. Plus, they, he gave us Google and the internet. Yeah, because we, uh, we got an advantage because of the elders. The el you know? Yeah, because... Tahar, when he first came in this truth, man, he got the truth, but he didn't know all this that, we, that he's given to us now. Right, because you that, know? He, he built it upon what uh, the, they gave him before it was yeah. the people the people that came before him. Yeah. He took what they had and he built upon it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we had a we had an advantage. Had, yeah, he didn't start from scratch. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. It is an advantage. That, really, that is an advantage. Yeah. Plus having the internet. Given all this that they teaching us, man. Yeah, yeah. You know? I'm going to finish this. Uh, There's some motherfuckers that received all this and it feel good to us. And they fell right out, man. They fell right out, man. Like they never even had it. Like it didn't mean nothing to them. Yeah, yeah. I was telling you, know? a uh, guy came through the other day. About oh yeah, he came two, by three days ago. Didn't even mention nothing about the truth. Oh no, <laughs> nothing. Just nothing. Man. Just pretty much just like school. About school. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. That's wild, man. That's wild. See what happens. Yeah. It's, not, it's not good for him. <laughs> it is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profited nothing. Yeah, the flesh profited nothing. Like, going to school ain't going to help you, man. Yeah, that's not... That's I mean, I'm not telling people, look, if you got to go get some kind of license or you get a degree so you get a job, hey, man, if... Look, right, you, you, you may... Well, how the hell you going to get a degree to get a job when the motherfucker... There ain't no job. Ain't, they ain't, ain't got no job. Jobs. How's it going to prove because you in the system now? How's the fucking system going right. to prove just because you in it now? Because you, know you can't... Them, them, yeah, because the main thing, really... If, 
the main thing I would tell people is you, I guess people gotta work and shit. Just get a job. Yeah, you either have to try to start your own business. Well, start your, yeah, that's what I. Yeah, that's what. That's the main thing. Number one, start your own business. Try to do the best. You yeah, can. try. Yeah, you know? to get your own hustle, man. Cause, Cause yeah, cause really teaching people to get jobs—that's the Uncle Tom mentality. It really you can get your own shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. that's hard to do too, though, cause you—you you know, it's just a fucked up place to live. But if you can get your own hustle, man, do that. Cause some people try to say, like, "Oh, y'all just trying to prevent people from making money and surviving." Like, no, we ain't. We just tell you these colleges are bullshit. Hustle. I'm just trying to make. They, yeah, like a, half of these doctors who are doctors working in hospitals, they're they're, they're still paying off their goddamn college tuition. That's right. It's, they're still paying off uh, uh, loans. Half these people to graduate, well, not half, almost all the people to graduate college are left shit, in debt. Shit, my Jew bitch. Uh, she graduated in uh, the mid '90s and still paying on that high shit. Uh, and she back in school getting their um. Going after going for a master's now. Damn. You know, but well, she got a Jewish name and it they, helped they her show, out a little yeah, bit. They showing her all kind of love. If man. you got one of them last names, your last name was Cohen or something. Marks. <laughs> Marks. Oh, your last name is Marks. Or uh, yeah, Goldberg. Goldberg Stein. Oh yeah, anything to end with Stein or Goldstein yeah. or Silverstein <laughs> or Silverstein or. You in there? Yeah, I can see <laughs> Jake though. Man, 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 this bitch Hebrew name. Jake yeah. though. Yeah, I mean, a lot of them is fake Jews. Yeah, because people get it twisted. Cause what? We'll call them Jews a race of devils. They are a race of devils. They're not a real, they're a bunch of damn hook-nosed devils. That's, that, that's like a what, German name, Finkelstein. Yeah, because yeah, a like lot that. of them Jews came out of Germany and uh, Central Eastern Europe. That's why. So a lot of them, they tried it. That's why the Nazis got kicked them the fuck out of there. Because they, they hated them. They was fucking oppressing the German people. A lot of them Germans over there was Israelites. And the motherfucking Jews came through and killed them. But, uh, yeah, but some of them Jews, though, are actually real Israelites. You know what I'm saying? Yep. They're not really devils. You know, some of them are decent people, so to speak. So not, and not all of y'all, don't don't get it. Some people get that twisted, though. They're like, oh, they just said, you hear that? But they just said, they just said that the Jews, the, the Edomites can be saved. So we didn't say that. Because <laughs> people get it twisted, man. Because the Israelites, they scattered among all nations, man. Everybody. That's why you'll find cool people scattered everywhere. No matter where you go, no matter what country you go to, you're going to roll into some cool motherfuckers that's going to look out for you and I noticed, because they jakes. Yeah, and I noticed, like, the so-called, like, cool, like, like them jakes that look like them other nations, they got a problem with, like, sometimes with, you know, how the system be doing yeah. the dirty. Yeah, they rebellious. They rebellious against that. You know what I mean? That's that it's that spirit of that That's that spirit of God. That's what it is. The spirit of the Most High. A lot of these motherfuckers gonna get fucked up just for the simple fact of what they were watching happen to the Israelites through the years and they didn't speak out. They didn't speak they out. They didn't say nothing. They didn't say if nothing. they knew their people was evil, they didn't say nothing. Yep. yep. And actually they turned out to be Israelites. Yep. Just sit back, just let them have not even say nothing. Because you got a lot of them so-called Jews over there, they do speak at, against them. Yeah. And they say, yeah. they, they call themselves a bunch of devils. Yeah. <laughs> that, like old, that old they white business that. Yeah, that I know, I know, I'm just Jewish saying. chick, that journalist, yeah. that chick that was telling them about they need to get the hell up out of there. Uh -huh. She just died. Uh, For real? What's her name? Uh, that old Jewish bitch, she was a journalist. Uh, I know, Helen. Uh, Helen, yeah, yeah. I forget, I, I, that old bitch that was always up inside the White House press conference. Right? Yeah. I forget that bitch's name. Uh, I seen some shit on her on that clip that she was uh, telling them, <laughs> them Jews to get the hell up out of there. It was like, it was asking them, so where do you think those Jews should go? She was like, out of, out of there, get the hell up out of there. <laughs> out of Jerusalem? Yeah, out of the place where the, yeah, she was, talking, she was like, yeah, they need to get the hell up out of here. Cause she's like, where they need to go? Back yeah. to where they came from, like people, up in Germany. Well, so she knows yeah. something. Yeah, yeah. She knows something. That's hey, why they probably killed her ass. You, you know, these fools out here, they don't know. She that, saw the video of the elders teaching and she's like, oh, got inspired. Because everybody hate them Jews anyway. That's why they push that anti-Semite shit. Yeah, yeah. Because you know back when, Amer so back in the early, when Major League Baseball first started, back, back way back in the day. Uh, mm -hmm. Look, when Major League Baseball first started, no Jews were allowed to join Major League Baseball. Why? Because they hated those motherfuckers, man. Mm. Why did they hate them? Because they're fucking evil. Right. And they're not real Jews. They're goddamn Edomites. I'm going to stop calling them Jews. They're Edomites. That, that's crazy. And, and this is Edom. Esau's kingdom over here. And they didn't even include them on certain shit. Mm -hmm. 
And they the same damn people. Shit, I well, have the baseball players are probably Jake's. All the good ones. You know what I'm Oh, saying? yeah, you know they were, yeah. The Irish oh, yeah. motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Uh, or Irish or uh, Italians. Yeah, a lot of Italians playing baseball. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's some amazing shit. You find out how many people actually hated the motherfuckers, man. They hated them. I'm still reading about Floyd Ford. They hate Henry Ford? Yeah, he put a, you, when you buy a new car from him, he used to actually have a pamphlet, not a pamphlet, a little book yeah. in, the, in the glove department that you read about how, teach you how much you hate them Jews. <laughs> yeah, when you buy, you know, when you buy a new car, uh, there's an owner's manual. Uh huh. He put that book in. Yeah, how come when they talk about great Americans, they never talk about Henry Ford? <laughs> right, right, right. My, this dude, he did all kind of good shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Everybody hates them motherfucking rats, man. He took care of his employees too. Yeah, that's, that's why you don't hear about him. That's why Henry <laughs> Ford was funding the Nazis because he wanted to see them. He wanted them Jews to get killed. <laughs> but he didn't know what he was doing because he, he probably didn't realize the whole thing was set up. The whole set up. Because they probably just using his ass because he had that money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's all good though. That's the way the shit works. It's a Henry Ford. I was just watching this. Uh, Are you putting Henry Ford? <laughs> you can watch it on YouTube. And Jews, all kind of shit come up. Oh, man. for real? Hell yeah. Henry Ford Damn, also. Like some crazy bitches. <laughs> I know, right? And they, man, come on. That shit going milk. Some people got the five, the star, right? Yeah. Sometimes a point going up. Yeah. yeah. Man, more and more, you see it with the two points going up now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You see more and more of that yeah. now, man. Some black bitch got black bitches. They got the five point star with the two points. I know, yeah. They, pretty soon they gonna just be like fuck it. Just go ahead and put the circle around that motherfucker. They gonna put the circle. <laughs> they gonna, gonna put the circle around that motherfucker. Now you gonna if you gonna if you gonna do it, go all the way, man. Fucking devils. You know, he were real. Saying? He were real you shit. Look like goddamn devils with all them tattoos over your way. That's some heathen shit. Five point star is some demonic shit. Heathen, heathen shit. shit. There's no motherfucking way. That smell keep giving me hungry as hell. Oh yeah, we can. Uh, we can just turn that off. All right, brothers. So